Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This workout today is a straight strength workout. I asked a poll recently here on our YouTube community page, and I asked what you wanted to see. This one rated the highest, so here we go with a compound strength set. So, multi muscle, multi joint, upper and lower. It's going to be a great total body workout. You'll require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today, so grab those. I'll start with the warm up and end with a cool down. And if you love that straight strength, you want to build some lean muscle tissue, click the card at the top of the screen, and that's my full playlist. All right, let's do this and move daily. All right, strength training on the watch here today. Reach across. Your heart rate's gonna be up just by virtue of using multiple muscles at the same time. Um, but lifting weights in every exercise, so there we go for strength. Reach up and over. All right, let's just take it side to side nice and slow. Get that inner thigh a little bit. I'm gonna come all the way down to the ground. If you can't get this low, that's okay. Just wanna warm up that inner thigh since I do have some side lunges coming up. That feels good. A couple more here. Just get that stretched out. Last one over here. All right, and round up through the back. Keep your legs wide, let's touch our toes. So smoky here right now. There were so many fires this last week. A new one, we could see the flames right across the lake. It's so bad. The wind isn't blowing toward us, so it's not super um, smoky in our neck of the woods, but one more here. It's bad everywhere, isn't it? Okay, squat reach. We have some members over in Greece, and uh, they were just writing me, telling me that like full islands are been destroyed from these fires. And California too, I heard from a girl in California. Oh, I hate it. It's uh, and we're, we're in a drought here too, so it's, it's not good. Almost makes you wish for winter, doesn't it? Take it wide, stretch it open here. Okay, two more here. And let's do some shoulder circles. Yeah, those bad boys warmed up as well. Switch directions. Good, and just some knee grabs to finish. Let's pull that up. Oh yeah, push your hip forward slightly. Good, a couple more here. And last one here. All right, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. There's the first three exercises. I'm starting with a side lunge, front lunge press. So I'm gonna stay on the same side with a 12 and then I'm gonna press it forward like that. Okay, I'll call halfway, then we'll switch sides. Lunging to my left, dumbbell in my right. Here we go. Lunge low, then hold it together, and front lunge. Good. Side, tall, and front. Last one on this side. And switch your sides. Here we go, lunge right together, right. All right, I'm gonna go to a 15 pound dumbbell here. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge crunch. So same side, I'm gonna curtsy here, crunch here, 
I'll call half, and then we'll switch hands. Nice and tall, drop it, low crunch here, and low. You can tap if you're feeling like it's too tippy. Tap here instead, switch legs, reach and crunch, reach. All right, grab lighter weights. I'm gonna grab fives with that lateral raise squat combo. Feet are shoulder width. You're out to the side, then squat, front, and stand. Here we go. Up, drop, front, and stand. Shoulders back. dumbbell. Reach up, tall and crunch. Tall and crunch. Last one right here and switch. Press. Nice 
and toe and drop, hold together. Press. I like this one. I've never actually thought of this combo before. This is great though. Feels fluid. And 12's not bad on that press. Last one on this side. Now switch, here we go. hard. Okay, catch your breath. Reach shoulder width and pop, drop, front, stand. Okay, the next circuit is gonna be down on the ground. Grab these weights. We're starting with that push-up dumbbell pass. I'm gonna get a 20 down here. I'm gonna do a push-up from knees or toes. Then I'll reach under, I'll move that dumbbell and proceed alternating the pass and the push-up. Here we go. Push up here, reach under, core engaged and pass. Push up, reach under, and pass. Don't rock your hips on the pass. for this. Bicycle whilst flying. If you can't do both, just do the chest fly. Arms are rounded. Push your back into the ground. And open cycle close. Open cycle close. Push your back down. Slow and controlled. You're here for 45 seconds. You do not need to rush. I'm going to go into a circle chest press 
glute bridge, I'm gonna use 20s. You create a circle, press toward the ceiling. If you can't get it, just give me a regular chest press with the glute bridge. Start low, everything is up, everything comes down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, squeeze at the top. Again, I'm holding 20s here. Feels good. Nice and fluid. I'm staying over the chest. Very good. Okay, set those down. Bring your 120 back. Woo! Sweating now. Let's get back into that push up. Dumbbell pass. Alternating those two. All right, work here. Pass it here. Good combo gives you a little break from the push ups. There we go. Very good. Whew. All right. Your fly. The bicycle. Again, I'm holding 12s. Felt good for me. Rounded arms and cycle and squeeze. Slow. of the dumbbell. Palm faces your chin, and then palms face away at the top. Lovely. 
And work. Flex your pec minor over the chest. You want to squeeze that little bra bulge area. Squeeze. And push your back into the ground. here almost there last 15 come on okay nice work take a look at these next three exercises and the weights that I'm using Monica, it's a squat deadlift combo. I'll hold 15s. Basically, you're going to squat here, bring the weights in front, lift your hips up, then finish with standing. Okay, shoulders back, squat, weights in front, hips are up, stand, use your side view, drop, hips, and stand, super flat back. This is a member favorite. for my single dumbbell wide deadlift to over hip press. I'm gonna hold it like this, wide stance, deadlift, watch your mouth, over hip press, work. Slow, slow, stand, press, and slow, slow, stand, press. Core is engaged on the press. And really, you're gonna have to deadlift whatever you can overhead press with good form. small package combo, so holding a five, you're gonna go left, then right, then small package knee grab. Here we go, up to the left, to the right, now both, hands to the side for a knee grab. Up left, up right, small package here. You can do this without weights. Okay, that was 
was fun. I like the addition of the small package there. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Monica. 15s for me. Squat. And stand. Core is engaged. Especially right here. Squeeze those abs. So you don't use lower back. Use hamstrings and glutes to propel you up. right
three exercises and the weights that I'm using. Starting off with that plie overhead tricep press. You can hold it like this or like this, whatever you prefer. I've got a 12. I'm taking it wide. Everything's gonna be down and everything's going to be up. Stick your chest out. Take it low, drive it high. Oop, have a good hold on that dumbbell. You could also alternately just hold two dumbbells in your hands for better grip if you prefer. Flex at the top, up. Keep going. Inch. Nice flex. Chin is slightly tucked into my chest so I don't hit my head. Nice flex. Okay. We're going to go into an alternating reverse lunge front raise. I'm gonna hold eight. Palms will be facing as I come back up and turn to face the ground. Face the legs to start. Take it low, raise it high, switch. Try not to swing at the bottom. Half. That one got my heart rate up with eight. Wide stance, drop it low. your hips, pop up, that's it. Good heart rate, rise, back to your triceps, shake it out. Plie, everything down, everything up, and drop, and drive.
that one of all of these is the heart rate one for me. It's good. Okay, one snap, clean and snatch. All hips here, let's go. And reach, power, pop. Switch hands. Five seconds. Shoulders low. Come on. Pop. Last here. And all right, fingers are clean. Wide stance. Drop it low. And dumbbells that I'm using for the workout. I'm starting with a squat reach. I'm only going to use fives because the pace is going to be a bit quicker. So you're wide, you're low and up. Little sort of hammer curl there in the center. This will get the heart rate up because of the speed. All right, drop and drive and drop up to your tiptoes too. Let's get a little calf action in there, why don't we? Right up to the tiptoe, let's go. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, I need to grab my 12s for your sumo squat. Palms up, bicep curl. All right, we're gonna curl at the bottom, wide stance. Shoulders back and drop, curl, and up. Drop, curl, good. If you need to turn that into a plie, feel free. My toes are kinda out just to give more space down there. Oh, you have 10 seconds, come on. Push and reach. Woo. Okay, sumo bicep curl, holding 12s. Are these? Yep. Wide, palms face the ceiling. Curl at the bottom, low curl. Keep a nice tall back and flat back at the bottom here. Don't round. Muscles feel hot. Good job. They're working. Butterfly, front press. Keep together, knees open. And bent arm reach. Front press here, tall. This hurts your back. You're just gonna give me a nice little crunch. Maybe with a 90 degree knee to support your back.
Very good. Last round, everyone. We're doing fabulous. Oh, good little workout. I'm definitely sweaty with no cardio. Gotta love that. All right, tiptoes, low and lift. You can go heavier here if you want to challenge yourself. I'm pretty much gassed. I went for a long walk this morning with the girls. So this is it for this girl. <laughs> Way there and press. Okay. down there. It's easier to curl at the top. I'm feeling it in the inner thigh as I'm down there. It's working it. Get a good stretch on that hamstring there. Ah, oh, that was good. I, I do, I feel that like kind of all buzzing all over. Nothing horribly shaky, but everything sort of, so it's good. Switch sides. I like this uh, type of workout. Again, good bang for your buck in terms of what you can get accomplished in the time. A little bit of everything, total body, it's all good. Oh, it feels good. I'm gonna take it all the way down here again just to get my inner thigh stretch. You can do this from standing if you can't get this low. Just giving that a nice lengthen again. My wrists hurt a bit from those push up round. Switch side. They're usually like kind of painful sort of right after I use them and then it goes away. But that is why I have those push up handles. They're a good thing. You just have to make sure you get really stable ones because you want to tip over on it. I've even been, even on those blue ones, been a little bit shaky at times. Let's round up through the back. Okay, on a wall or chair or couch, open up the chest. Like I put it down and sort of tipped and I'm like, that would snap again if I tipped over. Kind of freaks me out, but you know, it's, I want to do it as long as I can because I know that push-ups are a great home gym exercise to help build the chest and keep you strong in that very functional action of pushing things, right? You know, we, we do that action a lot in everyday life. Push a cart, push a person over. <laughs> what else do we push? 
Uh, push our suitcase down the aisle. Uh, well, push, pushing things up into the overhead bin. Um, so staying functional with certain exercises I think is really important. Um, even just getting yourself up from the floor is a great thing. Someone, <laughs> I went uh, to the Lower Mainland and uh, I trained my sister and her friends. Just we did a a little class in the water, like a water boot camp. I led them on, and one of the girls said to me, um, "Can we just maybe not have so much up and down? <laughs> like you do, like up and down, up and down." I'm like, except that is such a great action to be able to do consistently, and that's part of the workout. That's part of the hard part of it is getting down, standing up, getting down, standing up. And in fact, I had a 65 year old client, I would train lots up in here, and I would make her lie down flat on her back and then come up to standing and try to do it without using her hands. That is a litmus test of ability as you age. Have you ever tried that? Let's just try it now if you want. So you're lying on the ground, can you get up to standing without putting your hands down? And if you can't, that might be something that you start to work on and uh, arms back, thumbs down, and get agile in because you're always gonna have to sit up out of bed. And I think I've told you that story before of one of my client's moms who fell down and she couldn't even pull herself up to standing even on the side of a bed because she didn't have the strength in her legs or arms. So we're building that here at Move Daily and I'm glad that you joined. Hey, if you wanna work out for tomorrow, click or tap there or there and I'll see ya in the next workout. Woo!